So hi guys, welcome back to part two on how to create your online store for beginners. So uh, if you haven't uh, watched part one, uh, go back to my channel and just watch part one, just so you know how to, so that it makes sense. All, all of this makes sense to you because if you haven't seen that one, you wouldn't really understand how it works. So obviously now that we've created uh, our product. Uh, sorry our our you know shopify account and set it up uh, all we need to do now is start adding products to it so because this mine is called pure bands it would make more sense to add resistant bands kind of stuff like gym products so what i am going to do in this video is show you guys um how to add your first product and also a uh, domain name as also uh, let me just show you i'm not going to buy it because it's just for a purpose of this video but if you are going to you know um, be buying domain names you can either do it this way so if you go to google and type in buy domain names you can go to google and buy it there's different websites godaddy123 reg i usually just go straight to uh, google and buy it but um, this is the easiest way to do it add domain name here uh, pure bands this is already um, connected because obviously it's uh, my Shopify one so just click on my buy new domain um, and then you will just search pure bands see if that's available I'd, I prefer to get .com because it's it's more like worldwide rather than .co.uk is more like UK based um, as you can see it's unavailable so what I tend to do sometimes is just add co at the end purebandsco.com we'll see if that's available so that's available um, $14 so it's usually about £10 £11 something like that so you can either purchase it through a PayPal or your credit card or what you can do is pure dash bands and see if that's available yeah that's available as well so obviously you have to play around sometimes they're not available especially if you're trying to buy a famous name you you know it's, it's harder to get I, i've experienced this with my previous um businesses it's quite hard to find it at times not always so in this case it's quite easy pure bands co or pure dash bands.com so just uh, buy your domain uh, obviously i'm not going to buy it it's just for this video so what i am going to do is go back to home domain is done customized theme so all we need to do is add a product so what product am i going to add uh resistant bands so i'm just going to resist bands and obviously we're going to have to check here in different so resistant bands from aliexpress which most people use but i tend to use uh, other websites such as ebay and a few other ones if you uh, want to check out you know videos on what or what supplier I use other than AliExpress because I know their shipping time is quite longer than um, normal websites so if you if you go check out my previous videos on alternatives to AliExpress you'll be able to see what sites I use so for example in this one I am going to be using AliExpress and eBay you could use it I mean price wise they're a bit higher but obviously I'm, I just need a picture to put it and also um, let me just look for resistant bands and what I tend to do as well is click on orders here so you see which one has the most orders so this one's got about 44,000, 36,000 so what I usually do is go for this one because obviously it has the most orders they've got their logo here as you can see it says yoga so you can either trim it or you know look for a different picture like this one doesn't have it so what we can do is try and use this this picture but yeah i've already got the picture saved anyway so i don't need to save it one more time and also if you uh, click on orders uh, you'll be able to see that these are the ones that got the most orders so they're more reliable than you know the ones that have got about 50 or 100 or 200 sales these got about more than 10,000 sales which means it's more reliable so what i am going to do go to shopify i'm just going to put full set and then you just uh, what I tend to do here at the beginning just add a little heading and put a catchy phrase so um, so something like get your work we'll get your daily workout 
in without going to the gym so I know this is a bit dull but obviously I just made it up on the spot so you know if you guys have just look for a better phrase so this is what makes people want to buy it so well, my thought is like they don't need to go to the gym they can just work at home with this cheap resistance bands you can add a few uh, just a few details on it so what does it so I'm just gonna go on this product here and see what it says there what they've got so they've just got this custom reviews I will be showing you guys how to you know um, import custom reviews from Aliexpress to your website so literally these images will come on your website so it's like you know it's from your place so leave a like if you want to see that video it will be coming in the next few videos guys um, you can edit these comments as well so I've got it on my current website and it helps a lot because it, it builds the trust between you and the customer so it shows that you know you've people have bought it and you've had good feedbacks and it makes them want to buy it as well so a customer reviews so online reviews is a very important feature that you need to have on your online store i will be sharing with you guys in later videos on how to get that added and specific softwares that i used to get that done so um, if you go into applications uh okay let's just finish this product page first so i'm just going to put resistance bands full set and then you can just put one one time uh, resistant bands and then you can put two times whatever they have so I'm just gonna simply have a look uh, descriptions overview so just this basic two times ankle straps ankle straps those five times Oh, there's five resistance bands. I thought there was only one. That's good. So we're just going to change this to five. Uh, door anchor one. So this is just a brief explanation on how um, to add a product. And there's more to it, so we're going to add a uh, collection as well. So add media, I'm just going to add the resistant band picture, just one for now. Prices you can put, so for example, if we're getting it for $11, that's about £9, I'm guessing. So we're just going to put, um, normally it's $29.99, but it's on offer for $19.99. You can sell it for a higher price if you want, or a lower price, it's up to you. Uh, cost per item, I don't really use that stocks I just put 10 available 10 this is a physical product um, so if you have different colors just go on to variants tick this and then you see sizes you can change that to color material so I'm just gonna put color so let's put blue red yellow and green and once that's done just double check if you go below here the blue one you've got 10 red 0 yellow 0 green 0 so make sure you get that changed to any number except 0 so I'm going to leave this as green as 0 and show you guys why we changed this to 0 so I'm just going to save this page for now and let's preview the website guys and see how it looks so congratulations you've added your first product So preview the website this is how it looks so there we go the first product has been added to your page um, obviously the description you can choose to add images I'm just gonna quickly show you how to do that so here you have add insert image insert video clear formatting I'm not sure what that is we, just, we can live we don't really I think it deletes everything so insert video insert image you can insert tables as well you can do color code it and do it however you like it so yeah this is how you add a product this is the main page not the main page the product page I'm going to show you guys how to add at the top here I'm going to show you how to add collect go to pure bands go to collections 
so I'm just going to create a collection I'm gonna call it bands and the main picture is going to be this one here so you, you make sure you change this to manual from automated to manual press save and obviously if you go to your home page there you would want um, bands to be at the top here but it's not I'll show you how to edit it so you go to online store pages so add a page title is bands press save go to navigation so main menu we're gonna add bands and it's going to be a page, a collection with bands press add, press save make sure to press save every single time if not you can lose a lot of work so we're gonna go here refresh the page uh, we should see bands at the top there we have it, bands and we should also have alright, it's not, we, we didn't add it to the collection that's why so go back to products so we have it here and on the side here you should have collections so it's not on the home page we're going to change it to bands so this is really important so I'll show you how to do it again so go to your product page go to products here resident band whatever product on the collections choose bands previously it was on home page that's because it was on the home page we didn't have a bands um, collection now that we have bands so you just select bands it's already saved now if you refresh the page it should be under here there we have it so you've got your home page with nothing on it you've got your bands main menu on the header and then you you've got this little picture here you can change that as well um, under the collections image collection section sorry and then we have our first product here and on our, under our bands collection so this is how you add a product and also make a collections on Shopify so this is the part two on how to add a product on your Shopify page as well as uh, create a collection so obviously we can have more collections so I'm, I'm just going to create one that says um, gym no not gym so we've got bands what else we've got skipping ropes that's part of bands as well so weights maybe wait I'm gonna add that no, you know that's because we thought, again see I forgot to change it to uh, manual so make sure you change this to manual otherwise you're gonna come up with this error message here so then press save that should work and you can create another collection you can view it on your online store we're going to view your online store but there's nothing on there because you haven't added any products yet so these are the basic to shopify if you haven't if you uh, if you're struggling just go back and watch it again take your time um i know it takes a while to get to you know understand how it works so and this video basically shows you how to add a product how to put that product under a collections section so products we've got our products here we've got our collections here and don't forget online store where you set your pages and your navigation and this is vital this is basically the basic of shopify on how to add products and you know say your collections page so yeah guys um do check out my previous videos i got on i got over shopify how it works what you need to do what you need to insert um the shipping rates as well uh, if you're shipping it to another country such as um, I don't know anywhere in Europe and it's going to cost you about two pounds two three pounds you can set that as well so that's all under the settings which I have gone through in my previous video in part one so do check that out so yeah guys uh, this is a short video on explaining how it all works on products and collections in my next video i'll be explaining about orders and marketing and how you can set discounts as well and you know making more pages and linking them together and offers promotions 
I'll be going over a lot of stuff in the in my future video in part three. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, you know, to to get my latest videos. I have uploaded a few previous videos on alternatives to AliExpress. Do check that out. That's a vital, important video for you. Um, as if you want to get faster shipping dates. So most most uh, products from AliExpress are about 35 to 40 days, which is too long for a normal customer so i'll show you guys how to get that in about three to five days using alternatives um i won't reveal them in this video because it's i've already mentioned in my previous video so do check that out i've also um had vi uh, made a video on how to remove the powered by shopify so if you go at the bottom here you can see powered by shopify and most people don't realize that but um, it looks more professional without it so i have made a video on how to get that removed as well so uh, make sure you check that out as well but yeah guys uh that's about it so make sure you subscribe to my channel i'm trying to hit 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year so subscribe to my channel like this video share it with your friends and families if you guys have any questions on how to you know uh on how to build a shopify store if you guys need any help on how to add a product or just anything to do with shopify or online business just let me know in the comment down below and i will get back to you with my best possible answer and yeah guys thank you for watching subscribe to my channel like my video share it with your friends and families peace out take care and i'll see you guys in my next video